Hi everyone, welcome back to SG Doctor Wellness. My name is Dr. Chen Yi Ming. In one of my earlier videos, I discussed about allergic rhinitis. Click on the link on the top right of your screen now to check that one out. Now, allergic rhinitis commonly leads to another condition known as sinusitis. Have you heard of sinusitis? What causes it and what are the symptoms and treatment for it? Watch till the end to learn more about this very common condition. If you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button now. There are empty pockets of spaces within our face called sinuses. Normally, mucus are produced regularly from the sinuses that drains into our nasal cavity. However, there are maybe certain illnesses or conditions that prevents this normal drainage of mucus out of the sinuses. And when fluids build up in these air-filled pockets, germs can grow in them. When the sinuses become infected, sinusitis occurs. Risk factors of sinusitis include a prior upper respiratory tract infection, pre-existing allergic rhinitis, structural problems with the sinuses such as growth on the lining of the nose or sinus known as nasal polyps, enlarged adenoids, weakened immune system, smoking or secondhand smoke exposure. In general, anything that can obstruct the drainage of the sinuses can result in mucus collection within the sinus, resulting in sinusitis. Common symptoms of sinusitis include persistent runny and stuffy nose that usually last more than a week, thick greenish or yellowish mucus discharge, facial pain or pressure, persistent tiredness, fever, headache, mucus dripping down the back of the throat, and medically we call this post-nasal drip, cough and sore throat. If you develop these symptoms, please see your medical providers right away. Diagnosis of sinusitis can be clinically made based on your history and physical examinations. Some of the investigations that doctors can order to confirm the diagnosis includes a sinus x-ray, where we can see some haziness within the sinuses, or even a CT scans, again visualizing the haziness within the sinuses. Treatment involves giving antibiotics in most cases to kill the bacteria and reduce the inflammation, mucolytics like Flumacil or Vasicin to allow them to flow out of the sinuses more easily, nasal decongestions, either oral or nasal sprays to reduce the obstruction of the drainage of the sinuses, pain relievers if there's pain, and when all else fails, referral to the ENT specialist may be necessary in some cases for surgical treatment. Some home remedy that you can also try includes drinking warm or hot water, over-the-counter nasal decongestion and saline nasal flush, breathing in steam from a bowl of hot water or hot shower, sleeping on your side or prop yourself up with a pillow to breathe better, and having a healthy diet with lots of vegetables and fruits. Despite early and prompt medical treatment, sinusitis tends to need time to heal, and it can sometimes take as long as two to four weeks for complete recovery. So there you go. I hope that this video helps you recognize sinusitis earlier and seek early medical attention. Subscribe, like, and share this video. Until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy.